Law enforcement agencies across the country use them, but rarely talk about them. They're called stingrays, and they allow investigators to find your phone acting like a fake cell phone tower. Some police departments are being sued over the secrecy related to these devices. Andrew Hasbin shows us how they work and why some people feel they go too far. For police, tracking down a potential criminal in a sea of cell phone users can now be done pretty quickly. These are covert devices that you're not going to see. Daniel Rigmiden was arrested for tax fraud. Investigators found him by using a device that operates like the cell phone towers we're used to seeing, only it's small and portable. It's known as a stingray, and law enforcement agencies in Arizona are using it. The stingray acts like a fake cell phone tower, pulling in all the wireless signals in the area. Investigators can then scan through those signals, find your phone number, and pinpoint someone's location. Rigmiden only learned of the device after he attempted to get more information about his arrest from prosecutors. In order to use this device, you have to search all the cell phones within range. It's not just targeted at the phone that law enforcement is after. So these innocent third parties have nothing to do with law enforcement's investigation, and they're having their phones searched just the same as the suspect's phone. Little is known about the device's capabilities because law enforcement agencies that buy one have to sign confidentiality agreements, forbidding them from talking about the Stingray. Washington doesn't want them talking about it either. It is a general uh, concern for the ACLU nationwide about the, um, uh, in our opinion, uh, overutilization of these very intrusive uh, surveillance techniques without any checks and balances, if you will. The ACLU of Arizona is fighting to get more information about the Stingray's use, but it isn't easy. Well, if non-disclosure agreements with private companies, private entities, were allowed to trump uh, the uh, uh, requirements of the Arizona Public Records Law, we would have a zero uh, impact of the public records law. This technology was recently put back in the spotlight by a group of encrypted cell phone users who noted their location when their phone was connected to what could have been a stingray. One user reported a connection in the valley. We've had 17 people through the month of August that were uh, that, that gave us back that information and then we put it up on the map. Buzz Bruner with ESD America says sales of the company's highly secure crypto phone are booming. Buyers are concerned about these surveillance devices getting into the wrong hands. If you discuss high value information, you should be very concerned about it. You know, corporations and companies spend tens of thousands of dollars to protect their IT systems and then they get on unsecure cell phones and talk about the information that they just spent tens of thousands of dollars to secure on their IT systems. Daniel Rigmiden, who now consults with defense attorneys on government surveillance, fears innocent people's information could be scooped up from their cell phone and saved. As more of these devices get out there, who's to say that that's not going to start happening? I'm Andrew Hasbun, Fox 10 News. And one of those crypto phones will cost you more than $3,000.